boys. 87. Can we say holy shit or 87 anymore? We are live. We are Ignite Your Purpose. And <laughs> free ramble ramble episode 87. Uh, today, um, I saw on my feed on Facebook uh, a post by uh, a guy I know about um, a product you can buy that cuts the sugar spike after a meal by 20, 30, 40, 50%, whatever. Um, and I wanted to throw this up in the air. And if it works, amazing. I'll get back in my box. But is it just another shortcut or another hack? We all like to hear good news about our bad habits. And is a product like that another way for us to not face the reality that we may be making less than optimal choices in the first place? So, oh, Max has got a smile on his face. Man, you know, it's there's, there's so many things happening in my brain. I'm like, as an entrepreneur, I'm like that, that good hustle on that guy because he, what Gary Vee says, he, he reverse engineered something, right? Us as a society, or at least in, you know, first world and second world nations, um, we do. We, we are programmed again for that pill, that quick fix. And I'm not disrespecting that because it's no. in us. It's, it's, it's not like I'm holier than thou or she is or he is. It's, it's what's in us. We're, it's our system of schooling. It's our school, system of business. It's our system of, of work. It's our system of uh, the healthcare. It's, you know, take this to, to, to um, you know, polish the, the issue you have, not, not really fix it or cure it. It's, it's just going to, you know, code it. Yeah. Um, and, and that's what we're taught. So at the one side, I'm like, damn, the guy, the guy is smart, whoever came up with this, right? And if it does do what it says, that is a beautiful thing. It's a bonus. But what John said is the straight up fact, man. Why, why are you, you know, why are you needing to cut your sugar and take 50% with a, a pill instead of just cutting that stuff out? Because if we're talking about what Ignite Your Purpose is about, which is longevity in this game called life, then you you would want to make the better decision for that longevity. Because even if it's cutting down the sugar, man, that's still not doing anything inside your body to heal you, right? Yeah. So, and John, maybe you, you could go into what the sugar is doing inside the body either way. Man, hey, it's a complex subject, but basically uh, we eat food, it gets turned into to, um, glycogen, I think. Then that's stored, sorry, glucose, then it's stored in the muscles and the liver as glycogen ready for use when we want to do some exercise. We have a limited amount that we need in our body. So once it's stored the muscles and stored the liver, it then gets rid of the rest and it gets rid of the rest via process within the pancreas, creating insulin. Bleh. Now, to be able to shortcut that system is great. My first thing is how much of a chemical shitstorm is it? One. Is it natural? Probably not. And ultimately, for me, it's just it's just a fucking shortcut. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to be able to eat this. It tastes good. It looks amazing. We all know what's good for us and not. It's bad for me. But if I take this little pill, then that is okay. It's just... Bollocks, it's like extracting beta carotene from a carrot and, and expecting it to do the same job as a carrot. A carrot's got a freaking thousand things in it that interact with every cell in the body in some way, shape, or form and create a hormone that does this or creating a freaking whatever it is. So great. I love the hustle. He's going to yeah. make the bucks, I hope. He's going to shortcut uh, a few people's issues and, and challenges. But for longevity, it's not the best thing you can do today. It's better today than yesterday, better than tomorrow than today. Um, yeah, we could we go could talk about, ramble about the, the insulin and diabetes and sugars and fats and all these, how they interact to cause well, the inflammation. The inflammation is where, it, where all, all the issues start. Everything and that's where sugar is, right? It's the inflammation. Toxicity. Ultimately, and, yeah. everything comes down to toxicity. There's a, there's a tribe in Africa I was doing some studying on back in the day, and they went without 
honey for so long, right? They but but once a year they know they go to this pilgrimage and they 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 find these beehives that are they're massive. It's once a year, and these guys indulge. They indulge this honey because they only get it so often, right? And they mm-hmm. indulge so much that they they throw up. They they puke because they overindulge. Now, if we all did that once a year, we probably wouldn't need a pill, right? So yeah, sure. again, it's about balance as well. But anyway. But we do these things each and every day over and over and over. Um, I remember as a kid, you know, run down a shop and get yourself a 10p bag of mm-hmm. mitt. You get this little paper bag and you pick one of these and one of these. <laughs> and it's 10 pence or, yeah. or 50 cents. And literally, that was, my, that was my treat for the week. And the totally. case, we might have got jelly at the weekend or... If we we're out on a trip somewhere, occasionally you get an ice cream, but not every time. Not every time you freaking manage to write your own name in a straight line or wipe your own after that, <laughs> getting it up your back. We, we, we reward ourselves for everything. Every single event in our lives these days yeah, celebrates by food. And if it was incredible, whole food, natural, unprocessed, let's celebrate the shit out of that. Yeah. But it's not. It's the highly processed crap that we know causes these g- degenerative diseases. Truth. Um, and we, you know, we are of this earth. We are of this planet. So, you know, John, when you come out here, hey, maybe we'll indulge in a treat. I mean, it's going to be our version of a treat, right? Which is going to be pretty healthy. But it's something you and I probably wouldn't do all the time. But we get together. Let's have a treat. It's a yeah. human thing. We're here to enjoy. But. If you're here, let's say for eight days or 15 days or 25 days, we're not going to do it three times a day every day, right? No. It might be one time, you know? Yeah. It's a, you know, and that's part of enjoying. Back, back in the day, God, did we, did desserts were, you know, a part of the routine. Now a treat for us is we, we always, we've always got frozen bananas in the, in the yeah. fridge. And we've got, I, just, we've, I just put another batch in. That's hilarious. <laughs> and we've got a Vitamix and, or, or another blender and literally you can chuck it through crush some pecan nuts in it, a little bit of maple syrup or chuck some berries in it. There's a thousand ways to do it. And it's freaking frozen banana. And it tastes like ice cream every time. There's a business in London. It's all they're doing. Frozen banana and your choice of toppings. They've got a freaking business out of it. Max, let's make a business. (laughs) No kidding. Right there. Boom. Summertime, baby. Summertime. That's called living the dream. Yeah. Okay, beautiful people. You know, we just try. We just try and give you our take. Try and be a little bit better. We put our shoes on every morning to be better. We know you could be anywhere in the world, and we thank you. I know John's got to go. He's got his hustle to get to. Uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow with eighty-eight. What do you think, John? Uh, I'm thinking. It, I think. It, oh, you've just mentioned your epiphany from last night's dream. So um, that's right. We will look forward to that. Like I say, these are our ideas, our thoughts. They work for us. They might be wrong. They might not be wrong. But we're just sharing this uh, with you all. Thanks for tuning in, whether you're listening or watching or uh, uh, texting in. And we will see you all in the morning. Ciao.